The reason this event is important is to remember the sacrifices that troops and families have made. Being up there on the, on the stage is a small sacrifice compared to the sacrifice that other people have given to this country. And it's given, gives you a moment to reflect on that. So we're here today to um, stand for an hour at attention in uh, memorial of all the fallen soldiers and airmen and Marines that have passed away in our sacrifice. And it's the small thing that we can do for the big thing that they did for our country. Jinx anything, but the winds died down a little bit, so this is good. Thank you, God, for the opening ceremony. Wind died down, we appreciate it. No rain yet? No. Uh, let me introduce. I'm sure you know him because he's been doing this for 14 years. We've, you know, been I wasn't exactly sure what Memorial Day meant, and as I get older, you finally realize that there's people that aren't going home to their families, and what this day is truly about. Remembering our servicemen and women that made the ultimate sacrifice. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. Services. We remember them. We honor them here today. We thank you, police. We honor them today, and we will never forget all that they have done. Between 1777 and 1960, the shape of the design of the flag evolved into the flag presented before you today. The 13 horizontal stripes represent the original 13 colonies. In 
1814, Francis Scott Key was so moved at seeing the Stars and Stripes waving as after the British shelling of Baltimore's Fort McHenry that he wrote the words, the Star Spangled Banner, every corner of the world. Indeed, it lies in the heart of every serviceman who flies or who serves our great nation, persevering the freedom that others want for us for generations to come. By displaying the flag and giving it a distinctive fold, we show respect to the flag and express our gratitude to those individuals who fought and continue to fight for freedom and all. So please, if you're again a World War II veteran or Korean veteran, come on up to stage. Let's say hello. United States Marines and Chief Warrant Officer Dio from the United States Coast Guard. They're all out there for their hour. They'll be standing at attention for the whole... They follow their orders. We must remember that, not just today, but every day. We must be vigilant. It's important to honor those who are still serving. Forces, when they're not giving our veterans the care that they need, both the, from the physical wounds... You can also do the small stuff. Stop and say thank you to that veteran. Say thank you to that service member. I get to scares and love you guys and gals, but I also see that glimmer in that. We remember these brave souls for their service to our country. We mourn their loss, but we celebrate that they were here to serve us. Navy Captain Gerald F. DeCanto, Army Sergeant Mark Fecchione, Army Sergeant Alexander Fuller, Army Staff Sergeant Elisa Burchette, Army Sergeant Zachary Taylor, Marine Private First Class Daniel McGuire, Army Private First Class Daniel Correction, Army Private First Class Paul Conlon, Marine Corporal Nicholas Ixaros, Marine Captain Eric Jones, Army Staff Sergeant Matthew Ficino, Army Private First Class Clinton Springer II, Army Sergeant Matthew Gallagher, Navy SEAL Kevin Houston, and Navy Commander Frank Williams. May they rest in peace, thank God for their service, may God bless the United States of America.
when she was in the spotlight, counts all the money. And she also writes out thousands of customs of forms every year for us. And if anyone's ever filled out a custom form to send overseas, they know it's not fun. It's a lot of paperwork. The case by case, the troops for all that she gets done. Thank you very much. 